Meanwhile, President Trump pushing for a vote on USMCA, and he may get one. Our own Edward Lawrence just reporting that Mexico's chief negotiator saying he was told by Speaker Pelosi an agreement with the Trump administration should be reached sometime between Thanksgiving and the end of November. To House Ways and Means Committee member Jody Arrington on what he's hearing. Uh, Congressman, I would like to believe that's true, but, you know, it's, it's kind of like the impeachment inquiry. I'm told that he told that she told. I mean, there's too much intermediary. We want just the facts. We want a deal. Absolutely, because this is uh, going to create 170,000 new jobs for the American people, 70 billion in economic growth. This is good for auto workers. It's good for my farmers in West Texas. It's good all the way around for this uh, great country of ours. And meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi seems to still want to play politics with it. I, I don't understand it. The president of Mexico is calling for her to take uh, action. Uh, they've already ratified it. They've passed laws to implement it. They've passed a budget to ensure enforcement of labor provisions, which is one of the issues right. the Democrats well, raise, which you is a red herring. Let me be specific here, Congressman. Do you believe uh, Nancy Pelosi when she says she wants a deal done before the election? Uh, well, she's waffled on that, number one. Number two, she says she wants to uh, prove that she can walk and chew gum, but I haven't even seen her uh, crawl and make any progress. They've done nothing for the American people. Zero legislation, zero reforms, anything of note. Drug pricing, I could go through a list of it, including trade deals like USMCA. So I hope she changes her mind and that she fast tracks this USMCA. Uh, I think her moderate Democrats are very anxious. They're back in the districts right now, and I'm sure they're getting all kinds of grief for not having done anything that's going to help the American people. But are, are you know, saying, yeah. Congressman, just to be put a, a fine point sure. on it, that she cares more about hurting Donald Trump and denying him a victory that might help the stock market even more and the economy even more than she does about helping Americans? Absolutely. Look, just like this uh, phony impeachment process, it's purely political. And Nancy Pelosi's uh, decision on USMCA is a purely political calculation as to whether or not uh, Donald Trump's going to get uh, credit and whether she can claim some credit. And uh, I think ultimately, though, her more moderate uh, Democrats are going to prevail on her to do something. But she's that's a smart, heart. she's a very smart woman. She knows, that's one reason that she was so reluctant to go down this impeachment route to begin with. Right. She knows that she has to bring, that other Democrats, particularly from, from red states, have to bring something to, their, to the voters that they have accomplished during, during this Congress. Uh, doesn't she have to, doesn't they, don't they have to have something like the USMCA to present the voters in November? Absolutely. They have they have achieved nothing of note after a year of having the gavel. And this one is teed up. And again, it's good. It's good for a, a number of constituencies. We have the votes. There's unanimous support on both sides of the aisle. And and I agree with you. This would be something where her uh, moderate Democrats could claim that they've right. been able to achieve something for the American people instead of all this uh, this uh, political impeachment stuff. Well, I hope it gets a uh, final note on impeachment. We really have to run. But uh, do you think that there will be any Republican at all in Congress that will vote to move this thing to impeachment? I do not believe there will be. No, not a, so it will be entirely partisan. I think it will be. Well, we, I think you'll see some Democrats peel off. But for the most part, it will be a partisan uh, impeachment play. And then uh, who knows what the Senate's going to do, but I, I hope the Senate takes it up mm -hmm. and does the right thing and brings the facts and sets the record straight for the American people and doesn't leave the narrative as it's been under this uh, contrived and right. controlled shift show. Congressman Arrington, thank you very much. I'm glad you said shift. I was a little worried there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Meanwhile,